Uh, oh, I'm here. What's up? Dude. Dude. That, that's me. That, oh, you're saying that's me. Yeah. I have really good waves, by the way. Look at, look at me. Look at me. Kiki, do you love me? I'm just saying. <laughs> well, what's up, everybody? I'm alive. I missed you last week uh, as I was like, I, I thought I died. Like, it was crazy. Like, I was so sick. Oh, man. But I appreciate Pastor Dylan and bringing the word. And don't you appreciate Pastor Dylan? Can you, can you give, up, give it up for Pastor Dylan? Come on. He is the coolest. Keeping things going, it's pretty awesome. Well, um, I'm not sick anymore, but I still have this cough going on. Anyone still have a cough going on? Like, is that just me? Yeah, a couple of you guys. And, um, yeah, I know, right? So, uh, if you don't mind, um, as we continue this in, okay, as we continue this in my feelings series. I want to play a quick game, all right? I got uh, maybe I'll give out some Starbucks gift cards, but I I I, I want to play a quick game, all right? So um, this game you don't have to move. I just want you uh, I, I, I I want you to end up scream screaming or yelling at me like what you think it is, all right? So so this game I I know you can, and, and this game is called I don't know if you've heard it heard of it. It's called Nailed It or Failed It, all right? <laughs> But you know what, like, yes, yes. So I, I, I'm really interested. Oh, I'm really interested. Shh. That was a good one. So I could take notes, you know. So uh, I'm really, shh. I'm really interested in the uh, the marriage proposal lately. I don't know. I don't know if you uh, if you know that about me, but. Uh, I'm not. I'm not like interested in proposing to someone, but I'm interested in like how that whole thing works. Because um, usually, like you care about someone, right, and you love someone for all this time, and then eventually one day comes. Shh, there are day. There's gonna be a day that comes where um, the guy proposes to the girl, and and I. I, I and I don't think it should just be like, yo, I got a question. Like, I think it should be like something really cool, something like a real cool moment. Like, something like probably Andrew did, you know? It was like a really cool, uh, oh, on the beach, my fault. <laughs> oh, there we go. So, so, um, so I, I was just curious. So, I started kind of like, like figuring out marriage proposals. So, l- let's check out the first one. Let's check out the first one. I didn't know how to show you how much I loved you, so I figured I'd bring some friends to show you how much I love you. So I've got a question I want to ask you. If I get a drum roll? <laughs> Will you please, please marry me? So, so what do you think? Did he nail, did he nail it? Do you think, give me a thumbs up if you think he got it. You think any thumbs down if you think. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Go the, if go I get a drum roll? One. There you go. <laughs> Will you please, please marry me? Yes. <laughs> yeah, she said yes. Isn't that cool? Man, I need to get a whole band. I need to get a whole ba- band to like for my wedding proposal whenever that's going to be. All right, let, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. At a baseball game. At a baseball game. So what do you think he's gonna do? You think it's thumbs up? Thumbs down? All right, let's see what let's see what happens. Face. Oh, he asked like for to be 
she would be her, his wife. Like, slapped him in the face in front of everybody at a baseball game. That's crazy. I think we got we got another one. We got another one. This was on the news. On the news. Unbearable heat. And today we set to find out what your favorite rainy day activity. For those of you that do, I'm actually Liz's handsome boyfriend. When Liz and I met, we hit it off instantly. I don't know if it was fate, destiny, or the fact that I was wearing a Braves jersey. But the thing is, after not long after we met, I fell in love with her. Not long after that, she became my best friend. Liz, you made me happier than you could ever imagine. And at this point in our relationship, the only thing that could make me happier would be for you to say yes to us spending the rest of our lives together. <laughs> What's going on? I think he just asked you to marry him. All right, what do you think? Yeah, na nailed it? All right, what did she say? What? What's going on? I think he just asked you to marry him. Oh, my God. I love you. Will you make me the happiest man in the world and marry me? <laughs> That's pretty impressive. That's pre All right, we got another one. We got another one. <laughs> at the mall. This is like at the mall. It's crazy. Um, hello. Uh, sorry to stop your shopping and, and your evening. Hello. Uh, I just have a very special message for a very special girl. You're my Janu. You're my sweetie pie. You're my cutie pie. You're my absolute Jan. <laughs> Anyway, keep going. Um, uh, you, Janu, you're my sweetie pie, you're my cutie pie, you're my show, you're my everything. And, and, and I know you find this cheesy, but, but I want everyone to know you make me really happy. And I just have one question for you. All right. Pause real quick. Did you guys notice, like, the mopping behind him, the train? I, I, I don't know. You think he failed it. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. You're my cutie pie, you're my show, you're my everything. And, and, and I know you find this cheesy, but, but I want everyone to know you make me really happy. And I just have one question for you. No, 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 no. Oh. You truly make me the happiest person on earth. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Yo, I, I think we got one more. I think we got one more. Is it cool if I show you one more? Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, quick announcement if I may. My beautiful girlfriend, Brooke, and I have been together for a while now. Four years, baby. Four, who's counting, right? It's, uh, I think it's about time I ask her a very important question. Bobby the ring, please. All right, what do you think? What do you think? Yeah? No, so we say no? All right, let's see what happens. I think it's about time I ask her a very important question. Bobby the ring, please. Oh, my God! Oh, it's all part of the <laughs> He nailed it! That's awesome! Wow. Who went five for five? You went five for five? Of course she said yes. I mean, with a proposal like that, she had to say yes. You <laughs> well, shh. You know, I, 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 that's pretty, uh, I don't know why that's interesting to me, but it, it, it's it's interesting to me Um uh, the marriage proposal. I, I think it's. I think it's actually a really cool, cool idea. So I, I mean, uh, when I've been kind of, you guys know, like I'm, I'm single and all that. But when I think of you know relationships, you know, I think of like eventually what kind of relationship do do I want, right? So maybe it's like Ephesians five, right? If you have your Bibles, you can go ahead and turn with me there. 
uh, Ephesians 5, starting in verse 22. Maybe, maybe this is the type of relationship that, that we want, right? Wives, understand and support your husbands in ways that show your support for Christ. The husband provides leadership to his wife the way Christ does to the church, not by domineering, but by cherishing. So just as the church submits to Christ as he exercises such leadership, wives should likewise submit to their husbands. Husbands, go all out in your love for your wives, exactly as Christ did for the church. A love marked by giving, not getting. Christ's love makes the church whole. His words evokes her beauty. Everything he does and says is, des is designed to bring the best out of her, dressing her in dazzling white silk, radiant with holiness. And that is how husbands ought to love their wives. So, yeah, yeah, that's the relationship that I'm kind of that eventually, you know, that I'm kind of looking for. And, and as I kind of was researching, like, what what kind of traits am, am I really looking for? What should we we all be, if you're a dude, be looking for in a woman? Maybe, maybe Proverbs 31 can show us, right? Um, so Proverbs 31, it says things like this, right? Who can find a virtuous and capable wife? She is more precious than rubies. Her husband can trust her, and she will greatly enrich his life. Victor? Thanks. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She is energetic and strong, a hard worker. When she speaks, her words are wise, and she gives instruction with kindness. Charm is deceptive, and beauty does not last, but a woman who fears the Lord will be greatly praised. So I'm, I'm like, okay, yeah, you know, like that's another, that's a great example of maybe for someone like me, like a, a woman that I probably could be looking for. Maybe for for you dudes out there, maybe that's something. Uh, you know, uh, if whether you're a guy or a girl, like uh, in Ephesians five, we talked about how um, a wife should treat her husband and how a husband should treat her wife. Yeah, that's a relationship that that we're looking for, right? So. Uh, I just started to think, but here's what I've realized, right? Here's what I've realized. I've realized that no matter uh, no matter what kind of relationship that you you have, like the way you live your life now is preparing you for a relationship in the future, right? The way you treat your friends, the way you treat your parents, the way you live life is preparing you for what is about to happen in uh, the future, and I think I'll, I think for the longest time, I, I'll just be honest, like, I got it wrong. For the longest time, I, I think people have gotten it wrong, right? Because for the longest time, uh, people, and myself included, have lived under and really followed the myth of the right person myth, right? The right person myth, right? Uh, pe there are people out there that believe, all right, I just need to find the right person, and everything will work out for itself, right? Like, like some people, this is crazy. Some people go into marriage, and they're like, all right, when I get married, everything is going to be all right, right? Like, they, they come in, and, and, and maybe their life is dysfunctional, right? And they have problems, but they're like, you know what? I'm going to get married and everything's going to fix itself, right? And then guess what? The other person may feel that same way. And so two people think they get married to each other and everything is going to be all right. But what they come to realize is both their life sucks, right? <laughs> and they have two problems. And not that both problems go away. Shh. But now they got two problems. But then, and then they're like, well, you know what? If I just find the right person, everything is going to be all right. We okay over there? Thank you. If I just find the right person, everything is going to be all right. Right? Like when people ask me, okay, well, like my, whether it's my mom, my mom's, you know, my friends back home in Chicago, you know, when they, when they ask me, all right, when, when are you going to, like, when are you going to find someone? I, I was like, you know what? I need to find the right person. And I think 
for the longest time, I had it all wrong. Because I think it's not about finding the right person. It's about becoming the right person. If you think about that, like, I, I don't think it's about, <coughs> I don't think it's about, all right, I need, uh, all right, I go on dates, blah, blah, blah. Oh, is she the right person? Or if you're a girl, is he, is he the right person? I don't think it's about that. It's more about, are you the right person? See, I think in this season that, that we're in, as we walk into this season, as we're in this series called In My Feelings, it's not about finding the right person. It's about when you do find the right person or what you think the right person is, are you the person that they're looking for? Because let me tell you a story. This is a true story. Um, there was this lady that was interviewed. And um, as she was being interviewed. And um, uh, she decided, this is her choice, she decided that, you know what, like, uh, she grew up in a Christian home. She grew up knowing what the Bible says. And um, she, went to, she went to church her, her whole life. She goes to college, graduates, comes back home. And she decides, you know what, uh, yeah, I really appreciate the beliefs and the values that my, um, my parents taught me. But I'm just, when it comes to dating, I'm just going to put that on the back burner. I'm just going to, you know, I'm just not going to, um, I'm just not going to think about it. So she goes out into, uh, she does worldly things and what she, what the world says is fun and she does all these things and um, without, you know, her relationship with Jesus being a part of her dating life. I, I, you know, I picture maybe even she goes out into the club scene without, Jesus and what Jesus desires as relationship for her life to be really a part of her dating life. And so one day she is in this social gathering. I, I don't know where it was. I don't know if it was at a church. I don't know it, exactly where it was. Um, and she says that um, she was encountering all kinds of people, new friends, all this stuff, and she meets this guy. And in her words, this is true story. In her words, this is what she actually said. She said he was the total package, right? He was funny. He had a, a great personality. Um, as they continued to talk, she found out he was a Christian, right? So she's like, wow, like, he's a Christian too. Like, this is, this is the person. And, and as they continued to talk, she, she found out that, like, this person – um, this person not only is a Christian, but he truly lives out his Christian values, not only in his life, but in his dating life. And she's like, wow, this is exactly who I'm looking for. And she gets, she's so excited. Eventually the night's over and she goes home. And, and when she goes home, she tells her mom, she tells her mom, I, th I think I found the one. I think I found the right person. I think I found the person that I've always been looking for. And she's like telling, she's describing him, like how good looking he is and, and how he has a great personality and how he makes her laugh and, and how, you know, she, uh, he, she continues just talking about him. Then she talks about how he's a Christian and how he can ch chooses to live his life. And even though, even though, she chose not to do that with her dating life. This guy has been doing that. And she's like, I think I found the person. And this is what her mom said. Her mom, who could be honest with her, said this. She said, sweetheart, that's great. But I think that guy is not looking for somebody like you. Right? And immediately, this girl falls to the ground. Immediately, she falls to her ground, tears sobbing, because she realized that her mom was right. It's hard reality, right? Hard truth, right? 
realized that her mom was right. Here's, here's the reality. Maybe some of you are in relationships. Maybe some of you aren't in relationships. Maybe whether you're single, dating, or prospectively looking, right? Here's the reality. That you can prepare yourself for your future today. How? Not by finding the right person, but by becoming the right person. How do you become that right person? I, I think it's really clear. I, I think we, we've, uh, there's a list of traits that, that we should be looking for, but really that we should be living out in our own lives. We, we know it as the love chapter in the Bible. It's in 1 Corinthians chapter 13. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. This is what it says love is, right? Love is patient. Love is kind. I'm going to pause right there. Because here's, here's what our tendency is, at least what I've observed, at least from a dude's perspective, right? Is, all right, well, I like this girl, but I think I need to be a jerk to her so that she knows that, like, she likes me, right? And, but here's the reality. Here's the problem with that. Here's the, here's the big problem with that. It never works, but here's the big problem with that. Why would she want to be around you? Who would want to be around a person that makes them feel like crap? Like, to be honest, like, like, honestly, right? Like, why would, why, I, I don't want to be around, shh. I don't want to be around people in my life that are just going to treat me like garbage. I want, I want to be around people in, in my life that are going to invest in me, that are going to care about me, that are going to treat me well, right? So love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. Does not demand its own way. Love is not irritable. Love keeps no record of being wronged. Love does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever the truth wins out. Love never gives up. Love never loses faith. Love is always hopeful, and love endures through every circumstance. That's your list. And instead of looking for if that person has those things on your list, eventually, yes, they need to have those things on your list. But why don't you become the very thing that you're looking for? Why don't you take those traits that I just shared with you that are, should be on your list, and why don't you live that out in your own life? It's, it's this re revelation that I've kind of realized in my own life. Because as someone who is a little bit older and a little bit wiser, but, you know, at, at the same time, way more single, <laughs> as a person that is like that, <coughs> I'm found, I, 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 I'm, I've realized that, that people look at me and are like, well, what's, what's wrong with you? Why haven't you found someone? And I've come to this relevant revelation, if I can talk right, I've come to this revelation that I'm not interested in just like going around looking for people. I'm interested in shaping who I am today. And what, how I live my life today is going to determine how I live my life in the future. And when that time comes, when a relationship comes across how I choose to live my life is going to determine whether my relationship with whoever that may be is successful or isn't. So here's the question I want to ask you. You don't have to answer it. It's just a question I'm not going to ask you, right? That list, that list I just read of a person that you are looking for, are you the person that you're looking for is looking for? 
not about it's not about finding the right person. It's about becoming the right person. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you uh, for your word this evening. God, we thank you that that this revelation of becoming the right person and what all that entails. And I think so many times in this world, we get so focused on, oh, did I find the right person? Did I find the right one? But God, we thank you for this revelation that maybe it's not about us looking, but more about us becoming. And so God, I ask and I pray that you would help us become the right person, to become that man of God that you've always called us to be, or that woman of God that you have always called us to be. Thank you. In your precious name, amen.